We begin with the story you're seeing first on five. We've learned more about a St. Paul man killed when he was hit by a car crossing the street while walking his dog. The driver is cooperating with police. It happened around 815 Christmas Eve at the intersection of Park Street and Maryland Avenue West. And that is where our Renee Cooper is live this evening. Renee. This is the spot where Stephen Wirtz and his dog Gunther were crossing the street when they were hit and killed. It was raining hard on Christmas Eve night, and you can see just how dark it is right now. This is how dark it was then. I spoke to Wirtz's widow today who says they've been complaining to the city for months about the lack of street lights here. I'll never, ever, ever get that scene out of my head. Less than a block from where Laura Lee Wirtz sits on her back porch, her worst nightmare came true. Her husband, Stephen Wirtz, I called him Steve, was hit and killed along with his two-year-old German Shepherd on a Christmas Eve evening walk. When I went out there and saw him, all I could do was yell that they killed him, they killed him, they killed him. That's all I could say over and over again. I wanted to go up and touch him one more time and tell him I love him, but I couldn't move. All I could do was yell. Days later, Laura Lee is back and forth between tears <laughs> and laughter, sharing memories with longtime neighbors who loved her husband too. Well, he was born here in St. Paul. Laura Lee says Stephen was a St. Paul lifer, only leaving to serve in the Marines. And she can tell you everything about the moment they met 36 years ago. That was like 87 April Fool's Day was a Wednesday night. And that was it. When I met him, I knew. <laughs> and we've been getting together since. As the grief ebbs and flows on this porch, so does frustration. Laura Lee and her neighbors say it's too dark on their street at night. Pitch black out here. And they've complained to the city several times to turn the street lights on. It's been months and months and months. Now, I just spoke to the city's public works director, Con Sher Sean Kershaw. He was out here this evening after we reached out to the city today. Now, Kershaw says the lights are off due to a combination of copper wire theft here again in St. Paul, as well as the timing of the installation of some of these newer lights, all some of the newer public safety efforts here. He tells me now he's told his crew to prioritize in or reconnecting the light right here at this intersection tonight. So some good news tonight here in St. Paul. Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News. Renee, thank you so much.